she go in like mental to my left where I caught that one and uh, I'm gonna get all four rods so all the noise is done in one hit like a couple of minutes four rods are in but they're fizzing up there like mental close in so nearly done now Just for those who have been watching that hook, hook sharpening, that's the tool you need. It's a jag, uh, like hook vice. I got it from Tackle Box. Just put the hook in. I mean, I've got I've got a steady hand, but like you know, people that that, that haven't and that. Oh yeah, super sharp. So I haven't even got a rod with a chud on now. There you go. All I've got to do now is a PVA bag. I like using the corder stuff, it's the best. I've got the Four Seasons one on. So as soon as it, as soon as it's, it goes down within a few seconds, basically, it's popping and it's dissolved. As you can see, I'm working quite fast. Did not want to do this bit of filming because I just want to get my rods out, but it sort of uh, puts an end to what I've been doing now, unless I catch another one. Right, there we go. Right, I like to hook it in just there because it's like all, all the fibres of the mesh are together, so that ain't going to snap off. Just hook it in. And then what you've got to remember is that hair can go round the hook. Right, yeah, so like, I want to like fix that. There's loads of ways you can do it. I like it, I just use a tape, pull it, stretch it so it's thin, bite it off, and then just wrap it round. It's a bit tricky till you get know what you're doing, and rock it down tight. I mean, like, other little things I do as well. If I'm fishing crumb, these tags here will actually put um, freebies on as well. But I'm not bothering today because they're whole baits in the bag. Right, I've got two tipped off with pineapple and then butric. These are like really bright, they sort of balance the hook bait as well. Um, and then like, I've just got simple bottom baits on, so two and two, see what happens. Right, I'm going because I need to get these out. Fish are having it. Conditions are a lot better as well. No sun, cloudy. Today could be a busy day. I'm going to give it till midday, if it's uh, quiet, not happening, fishing dies, I'm off. Probably go somewhere else. Right, I've moved up the lake a couple of swims. Um, just so I'm more on them. I can see them easier from here because it's mega close in. So. Four rods spaced out. I'll try and show you where they're fizzing. Just got to wait for a real defined one. There's one out the back there. That's about as far as they go, really. Now it's going. But they're coming within like 10 yards of the bank. Just got to wait for one. Surprised I haven't had a bite yet because I just fuzzed out four bags, no freebies. Light one ounce leads, helicopter style. Here's one fizzing, look. Come on. So hard, you need a big one, really. Just can't pick it up. it would be more like out here, really. Just in this bit here. Just digging around in the silk. Must be loads of bloodworm here. At least though, uh, the watercraft was bang on when that wind drops. See them 
like little fizzers and that's all you need Now look God it's so hard to pick it out well, That was a waste of time um, If I get like a real big cluster I'll try and pick it up for you but it's just just can't see them, not, not on the camera. See what today's brings. Like I said, I can't believe I had a bite yet. No liners, but I'm not expected to get many liners. Uh, the, the big slack lines I've got. So, they're still moseying around. There's a couple of fish keep banging out down in the bottom in the corner. I've just put a couple of handfuls of uh, boilies out there. I'll probably give it an hour or so and I'll reel one of these in and like fuzz a chod down here I reckon it's real dirty in there so see what happens like that corner I was telling you about um, went down there after baiting it for a couple of days and it was fizzing like a jacuzzi before I'd even got the bobbin on had this little baby out of here 2312 mirror happy days that was on a chod so. are they right yep. up in the other corner a couple of weeks ago look at the colours on that bright Lovely, orange isn't it? that's a sticky baits vortex pop up Days, yeah, yeah. Oh, turn it off, turn, yeah. Turn it off, right? Recast with a chod to the same spot 20 minutes, half an hour later. Got a real old one here, um, 26 pound four ounces. There he is, right? Old warrior, do you want to just zoom that in a bit more? Russ, go on, go on, keep going, go on. That's it. I've now moved all my gear down, I'm going to do the last night down here. So, I found the rods all around the zone now. See what happens. You need to this side, Jim. Right, that's it. Had another one in the night, a 19 4 linear. It was raining then, so uh, I didn't even bother with the pictures or etc. This line's been tucked up at first light. Can you pick it out? It's been pulled tight on a mega slack line. Look at this one, look, last week of October. And she is sitting on loads of eggs. This crazy world's definitely messed up. So I move further down, a couple of swims, and then like uh, after dark, I had a couple down there, didn't I? Up to 27 in the afternoon, and then after dark they moved up the lake. So I slightly split the rods close together, two swims. Right hand rod there, done it. Dark, dark side uh, rig again. So that's two on the chods, two on the dark side. So the swims are right close together. Haven't really seen any fizzing yet. It's quite misty. Mega mild, then it cleared out. Surprised it ain't really misty this morning. Anyway, I've got to go off soon, so if I don't talk anymore, uh, Waveney Valley uh, is on a day ticket, especially this time of the year, where you can like rent out caravans through the year, any time. Um, contact details, go on my website, jimshellyuncut.co.uk. Go on links, and there's a link straight to their website. I've got to leg it home now, and I've got to go shopping for the day. 
things we have to do. Mind you, I'm going out to an Indian tonight. So happy days. And then I'm fishing Sunday or Monday. And I've got five, four or five days to myself. Happy days.